You are welcome to Dave Academy where we build excellence in students, especially when it comes to the STEM subject. In one of our previous videos, one of our fans was looking at this question on calculus and asking us a question on angles. So, Umaru Undanema, I hope I got that right, is asking us, help us on this question, cos x plus 35 is sin x plus 10. So, we have to solve that and that's what we are going to do in this video. But hold on, we are going to actually cheat our way by using the scientific calculator. So we want to first and foremost look at this question, but we want to look at the scientific calculation as a means of shortcut to solve this question. So first, I want to clear my calculator. You can check our videos on how to make use of the scientific calculator, and then you'll be good and fine, and you'll be able to follow along effectively as you solve this. Now, we have cos x cos x plus 35, okay, is equal to 10. So this is the question and we can check to see that we didn't make any mistake. And I want to solve this. I can press shift car which is solved. And it's taking the iteration for this solution starting with zero. Now I know that on my quadrant for the trigger identity, I can actually solve starting from zero or I can solve starting from 180 degrees because I have the understanding that is either it moves to the first or second quadrant or the third or fourth quadrant so i'll be making use of the two first start the attrition from zero what's that going to give us that's going to give us 22.5 then again let me start the attrition from 180 and what's that going to give us okay 202.5 and if you observe and 202.5 is actually 180 plus 22.5 so you just need to have those basic understanding and you'll be good and fine now the calculator has given us some hints let's go ahead and try and solve this question by getting our hands dirty. Now it is compound angles, and these are the formulas that we can make use of to solve this as regarding the sine and the cosine of compound angles. So in the first case, we are going to take the left hand side, which is cos x plus 35, and we are going to use this. But note, students, this is plus, but if you have minus, then here it will be plus. So we can say cos a plus or minus b is cos a cos b minus or plus sine a sine b. Okay, and the same thing also goes. For the sine sine a plus or minus b is sine a cos b plus or minus cos b sine a so you just know that so that even if the question is changed then you'll be able to change appropriately and solve your question let's look at cos x plus 35 we are making use of this a is now synonymous to x b is now synonymous to 35 so we are going to have it as cos a cos b which will be cos x cos 35 okay minus sine x sine 35 okay that is the left hand side which is cos on the right hand side it is sine so we have sine x plus 10 making use of this sine a plus b formula we can say it is sine x cos 10 plus cos x sine 10 so now i can say i want to collect like terms like i'm seeing cos x here and I'm also seeing cos x here. I'm seeing sin x here. And I'm also seeing sin x here. So if I'm to do that, I can just have cos x cos 35. And when I subtract cos x sin 10 from both sides, here it will become minus cos x sin 10. And for that, I'm subtracting from both sides. I would have eliminated it from the right hand side. Okay. And then if I'm adding sin x sin 35 to both sides, then here I will have sin x cos 10. And then the addition of sine x sine 35 will bring this here, whereas it will also knock out this. So, looking at this now, you can see quite interestingly, I cannot factor cos x from the left hand side and sine x from the right hand side, such so that I'm going to have cos x into cos 35 minus sine 10. Okay. Is the same as here yeah, sine x is common to both sine x into if i've factored out sine x from here it will remain cos 10 on the first term and the second term it will remain plus sine 35 so i'm also using the ingenuity of my understanding of factorization to solve that and now looking at this i can already see that since i have cos x and i have sine x if i divide both sides 
if I'm to divide both sides with cos x, interestingly, I'm seeing that on the left hand side, I'm going to see that cos x will cut out cos x and sin x over cos x already that is tan x. But I don't need to stop there. I can also see that since I'm having this as tan x, let me eliminate it so that this term beside sin x also come down here so that I'm having it as multiplied by cos 10 plus sine 35 okay so here i'm also dividing by cos 10 plus sine 35 so i'm just doing a double combo solution there and from there i'm seeing that cos 10 plus sine 35 is dividing cos 10 plus sine 35 so inherently what i am left with is sine x over cos x which is nothing but tan x okay is equal to the evaluation of this expression in bracket both the denominator and the numerator so i can just say i want to solve this with my calculator now so i have um cos okay let me just put the fraction so that i will just do it straight cos 35 i can close that bracket minus sine 10 so let me also close that bracket and then move to the denominator where i have cos 10 plus sine 35 so i have cos 10 i can close that bracket to plus sine 35 now you can see the consistency i'm trying to maintain in this so that my calculator will be able to evaluate it correctly because i'm putting my bracket appropriately so what is this solution going to give me 0 0.4142 so this is 0 0.4142 so that x x itself is going to be actan 0.4142 okay so that's the solution and i'm saying the actan which is shift tan of the answer that i just got okay so what's that this is 45 over 2 and 45 over 2 is nothing but 22.5 so this is 22.5 but do we want to stop here no because in our understanding of trigonometry we know that there is the quadrant that we need to consider the first the second the third and the fourth quadrant and what we notice that in the first quadrant all of the trigonometry identity are positive that's why we have a all is positive in the second sine is positive in the third tangent is positive and in the fourth cosine is positive so now since look at this we are finding actan 0.414 so tangent is our interest and the areas where tangent is positive is the first quadrant which is quadrant one that is a all is positive and the third quadrant which is apparently tangent as positive and if we are looking at that that is meaning that x is truly actan 0.414 which is 22.5 or in the third quadrant x will also be expressed as 180 degrees plus that 22.5 that we got okay so is either x is 22.5 or we can say x is the sum of 180 and 22.5 is nothing but 202.5 degrees so this is the solution and umaru undanema i hope you have gotten this effectively that have been demystified so that even if you get to encounter this in your exams then it's going to be a walkover and you are going to set yourself on the path to that academic excellence if you are here watching these are the kind of videos that we push from time to time and you would do it to just subscribe to the channel leave a like and also leave your comments so that we can get feedback and just like this maybe you also have one question that is bothering you we can also look at it as we prepare you for excellence in academics thank you for staying up to this time it's dave to academy and until next time god bless you